but we're going to use a clipping mask to complete the word space. So we've already completed the first two letters. Notice that there's an image in each individual letter. There is a stroke. Some people might call it an outline, but the actual term, the Photoshop term is stroke. And then I put a nice little outer glow around the edges as well. So let's get started. The key to any clipping mask is this. The image must be on top of the letter that it's going to be clipping mask into. So on my right hand side in my layers panel, I'm working on the letter A. I know I'm working on the letter A because when I click it, I see these little boxes that pop up. There's little squares all around them. So it's highlighted. I know I'm on my A. I also know I'm on my A because if you look at my layers panel, the A is the one that's highlighted. If you do not see your layers panel, it's very easy to find. If it's not on the right side, just go up to window. Remember window is like Walmart. Everything that you need in life pretty much is under window. So always start there first. So we're going to go to window. We're going to go down to layers and then our layers will pop up. All right. So I got my A. The next thing I need to do is add an image that's going to go on top of this A. So I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to open. And then let me see, I think I would like to use my alien for my, A. yeah, I'm gonna use my alien. So what I just did there was I changed my view. At first I had it as a list. So everything was listed out for me. I couldn't really see what picture was which. So I came over here, if you're on a Mac and I click this little squares. If you're on a PC, however, a Windows machine is going to be over on the right. But the icon pretty much looks the same. So you want to take it off of list and put it onto thumbnails. On a Windows machine, that also gives you the option to make that thumbnail bigger or smaller. Okay, so I'm going to click alien. I'm hitting open. There's my alien. So I need to get this picture onto my Galaxy page. To do that, I'm going to do the drag and drop method. So I'm going to click this picture, I am holding and dragging, holding and dragging, holding and dragging, holding and dragging. When I get up to Galaxy, the name of my file, I'm still holding. I will not let this alien go until he is safely on the page. So now that he's in the center of the page, I let, I let him go. We're going to do that a couple more times. So hopefully you catch it on one of those times. Okay. So I got my alien on top of my letter A. Also in my layers panel, I'm going to zoom in real quick. Also on my layers panel, I have the letter A and my alien image on top. So that layer three, that's the alien image and it's sitting right on top of layer A. If it's not on top, your clipping mask will not work. It has to be on top. So we only have one more step left. We need to right click on layer three and then create a clipping mask. That's all you gotta do. So I'll do that one more time. Oh, let me close that window. I'll do that one more time. So let me undo this. Edit, undo. I'm going to let me release this clipping mask. Okay, perfect. So I got my picture on top of my letter. I'm going to right click and make sure you right click where it says layer three. Don't right click the thumbnail because the thumbnail won't help you. Make sure you right click where it says layer three, right click, and then create a clipping mask. And so now we have our alien inside of the A. Our next step is we want to do an outline so or a stroke. So to do the stroke, all we need to do is make sure we're still on uh, the correct layer. So we want to go down to the A because that's what we want to uh, highlight. We don't want to put a, a stroke on the image because the image is a, a rectangle. We don't want that. We want it to stroke the letter. So I'm clicking on the letter A. I'm going to go down to effects. I'll zoom in so you can see effects. It's at the bottom of your layers toolbar. It's right here. It's the letter F and X together. That is effects. So I want to click that. Let me slide over here and I want to go over to stroke. There we go. So when this window pops up, my stroke by default is usually black. In this case, because space is already so dark, I want to make my stroke color white. So I'm going to click white and I'm going to press OK. So now it's white. It's white, but it's not thick enough. OK, so for my size, my other two letters are set to 10. So I can either use the slider to set it to 10, right? Or I can just type 
in this box. I can just type 10. It's set to 10. Okay, another thing I want to do is, well, another thing I can do, I can have it to where my stroke is on the outside of the letter. I could put my stroke on the inside of the letter, or I could put my stroke in the center of the letter. I think I'm going to do center only because we're in space and I'm kind of feeling that softer, rounder edge. So, okay, I'm good with that. The next thing I need to do is I need to add an outer glow. So I'm gonna go down to outer glow. Don't just check the box, make sure you actually click the word outer glow. Because if you just check the box, then this screen won't show up, all right? So make sure you click the actual words outer glow. When the outer glow box shows up, you gotta kinda do the same thing. You customize it to what you want it to be. The opacity at 75%. It's working for me right now. I might have to move it to 100, we'll see. All right, um, let's see for my spread. My spread is definitely not far enough. I'm gonna put my spread at 18. And then the size, I'm gonna put big. I want a lot of glow. So maybe 76 looks good. I'm thinking, yeah. And then for my opacity, it's too bright. I think I'm gonna turn my opacity down just a bit. Maybe to, yeah, 48, 50, somewhere in there. 50's good. Okay, I like what I see so far, so I'm gonna press okay. Okay, so now that we've walked through the steps, let's try it again. We got two more letters to do. Again, we wanna click the letter C, so Photoshop knows what we're manipulating. I'm gonna to go to File, Open. Let's find a picture we haven't used yet. Um, what if we do, uh, let's do this planet. We'll do the planet. Let's hit Open. Okay, so I'm going to click it and drag it. Remember, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. When you get over the C, let go. There we go. So this one needs a little help. So let's stretch it. So, and I should not say stretch because we don't want to stretch it. We want to scale it. If you stretch it, then it'll look like something like that. We don't want that. That's bad. Stretching is bad. All right, to scale it, I'm going to grab it by a corner and I need to hold down the shift key because the shift key makes it scale evenly. So I don't have it looking like an egg. It stays looking like a planet. And that's important, especially when you're dealing with pictures of people. You don't want to stretch a person's face super wide or super skinny and make them look deformed. Okay. We now have the image in our layers. Our image is over our letter. So layer four is our planet. Letter C is the layer that we're on. And all we need to do at this point is where it says layer four, right click, create a clipping mask. We're done, look at that, that looks nice. So now we need to do our stroke around our letter and our outer glow. Now we can keep doing the same steps over and over again, which means going down to effects, hitting stroke. Then when we're done with that, going down to outer glow. We can do that or we can go back to letter A because letter A is perfect. The stroke is perfect. Our outer glow is perfect. I can right click on letter A, on the letter A and that layer and I can go down to copy layer style. So when you copy a layer style, what it does is everything you do to that layer is copied, which means your drop shadows, your outer glows, your bevel and boss, any of that stuff. And I can simply paste it to the rest of the letters. So I'm going to paste it by right clicking. These are all right clicks. And I need to go down to paste layer style. There you are. And so while I'm here, I might as well click my E, right click on that E, and then go down to paste layer styles again. Okay, so now all we need to do at this point is add an image to letter E. So I'm gonna go up to letter E, make sure that layer is clicked, and all we need is one more image. So let's go to File, Open. Let's get our last image and round this, this baby off. Okay, so we'll use the astronaut for this one. I'm gonna hit Open. Again, you know the drill, we're gonna drag and drop. What I'm gonna do, I think, is close these extra windows because what I've noticed in class, when the people have too many windows open, they drag and drop to the wrong image. So I close all my other images. I'm just going to drag him, drag, 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 and I will let him go when I get here. Okay, we got to scale him because he's a little small. So again, I'm holding down the shift key and dragging from a corner. 
never drag from the middle, never drag from the side. You hold from the corner, any corner, and then, and then drag, holding down the shift key. So now that I've dragged it to the size I want, I'm gonna let my shift key go, and I can press enter on the keyboard to approve my selection. All right, last time's a charm. Let's right click on layer five. And let's create a clipping mask. There we go, we got it. So we have officially clipping mask an image into each individual letter. I'm gonna stop the video here and I will see you in the next video where we will learn how to clipping mask into shapes.